One of the most things that I like about 2016 in the budget realm is that we got devices that's King Supreme that's beating eight, nine, and a thousand dollar devices, guys, at an under five hundred dollar price point. So today, guys, I want to talk about two devices that I nearly, dearly love. But let's talk about the performance of two devices, guys. So today, I got the OnePlus 3 and I got the Honor 8. I've been making a lot of videos about this device. I'm in love with the Honor 8, right? But this device, the OnePlus 3, is the gold standard. It's king supreme when it comes down to performance. So today, guys, we're going to just do some normal app opening. We're not going to do no geek bench and all that uh, benchmark tests and stuff like that because I already made videos about that. So we're going to just look at pure performance. $399. $399. So we go open up some apps. Real short video, guys, so y'all guys can see which device is King Supreme. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is Eric again with another video. So today I got the OnePlus 3, all right? Um, and the OnePlus 3, guys, we looking at the Snapdragon 18 pro 820 processor. We got the 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, we got a 1080p screen. We got all the bells and whistles in this device, guys, right? And that this device is running almost stock Android. It's king supreme when it comes down to performance. I always say that in my videos. But we got the incumbent here, the Honor 8, also a $399 device. Uh, we also have a 1080p screen. We got the Kirin 950 uh, that's in this device. Four gigs of RAM, all the bells and whistles with this lovely device. So we got two devices, guys, and everybody's upset about the Pixel phone. So, hey, look, let's go ahead and put this 399 beast to the test. So today, guys, I'm just going to open up a few apps so y'all guys can see which device is King Supreme. So uh, we're going to make sure all apps are closed, all right? So we don't have no apps open here, no apps open here. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead and show y'all guys can see for yourself which device open up apps faster. So we're gonna open up uh, our social media, which is Twitter first. Booyah. Wow, Twitter opened up fastest on <laughs> the Honor 8. All right. And we're gonna open up Telegram. All right, so Telegram opened up about the same, uh, a little faster it's on the OnePlus 3. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Facebook. All right, so Facebook opened up faster on the OnePlus 3. Uh, so let's go ahead on and uh, open up some of these other apps here. Let's go to open up uh, the Play Store. All right, so the Play Store opened up faster on the Honor 8. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the Google. All right, so Google opened up fastest on the OnePlus 3. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, open up YouTube. All right, so YouTube opened up about the same time, but rendered a little faster on uh, the Honor 8. So overall, if you're getting both of these devices, guys, I can tell you that both of these devices is nice. At a $300 price point, $399 price point, uh, you can't go wrong with either device. You have, uh, you know, the OnePlus 3 that's been keeping up with all the updates and everything, but you got the, the Honor 8. The Honor 8 is a fantastic device, and you do have some pros and cons with this device, uh, but both of them is fantastic. Uh, and But overall, you can't go wrong uh, with either device. In my humble opinion, I mean, wow, I'm glad I got both devices. A lot of people always ask me which one to go with, Eric, which one to go with. If you like a 5.5 inch screen, all the bells and whistles go OnePlus 3. If you like a beautiful design, uh, you have a device that's very fast and very capable that's beating a lot of the eight to nine hundred dollar devices. The Honor 8 is your device. I can tell you that in my top five of 2016, both of these devices is in my top five. So overall, I think that you can't go wrong with either device. So guys, I just wanted to give you a, a video about, uh, you know, app openings and performance with this device. As far as benchmark tests, I mean, I've done videos about that already. I mean, both of them was amazing. And I'm loving the, the Kirin 950, guys. Uh, overall, it's a speed demon. Both of these devices is capable. So if you got a hot 
$399 and you can't phantom to buy a thousand dollar phone, these are your devices. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave a question down below. Let me know what you think about these devices. See you guys on the next video. Peace.